Ryan Red from Alexa Node here, and today I'll be showing you how to set up Bedrock and Java Crossplay using the Geyser plugin. Before we get started, I just want to say if your server is running on 1.19.4 like it is in the video, then you need to install VR version since Minecraft Bedrock is always up to date and you can't go back to previous version. To get the Geyser plugin, you must go to geysermc.org. From there, you're going to hit the download button on the upper right and hit the button that says download Geyser and save it to your computer. Do the same for Floodgate. Now head to your game panel and click on Java MC versions and then click on the drop down, click on the one that says paper and hit install on the one that says 1.19.4. After it's successfully installed, you're going to go back to the console and hit start. It's going to fail until you do not accept the EULA. For that, you're going to go to the file section, hit the file that says EULA, change the false to true. After that, click save changes, head back to the console, press start again. After the server is done loading, hit the stop button and click on the file section again and go to the plugins folder. You're going to drag and drop the Geyser and Floodgate plugin into the plugins folder. Wait for it to upload and then go back to the console and hit start again. To make the port for the Bedrock client, you're going to go to the section that says Network and click on Create Allocation. For the No section, put Bedrock or something similar so you don't forget what the port is for. Make sure to copy the port as we're going to need it in a second. Go to the plugins folder, click on the Geyser folder, and then click on config.yml. The first section where it says port, you're going to paste in the bedrock port. Next, I'm going to open another tab to copy the regular port that you use to connect to the server for Minecraft Java. If you have a dedicated server, you can leave the port as 22565. If you scroll up a bit, you can change the MLTD and server name. After you have made all the changes, don't forget to click save, go back to the server console, and click restart. After the restart, you can open Minecraft, paste in the IP and port, and hit join. And as you can see, Minecraft Java works just fine. Now we're going to join using Minecraft Bedrock. So for that, you're going to hit servers, scroll to the bottom, then click add server. For the name, you can name whatever you'd like. For the IP, you're going to put in the same IP as the Java but don't forget to remove the port. In the section where it says port, paste in the port that you created earlier from the network section. As you can see, my Java account is right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Raven from Elixir Node, signing off. Bye guys.